Presidents, uh, I think all joined back. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Please go. Ahead. So we just went through the introduction to ISMS um, in very you know brief manner. Uh, so the important aspects of ISMS uh, we have discussed in the previous um, session. So this is a particular standard. This is a uh, it's a family of twenty some thousand is a family of standard. It has got, it has got so many um, standards actually. It's a family member. Um, but for uh, as far as uh, uh, ISMS is concerned, three important standards are uh, uh, very very essential. One is uh, this 27,000. It it gives you uh, the vocabulary and terminology about uh, 27,001 and other standards. Uh, there are um, more than 30, 40 standards in this family. For ISMS concerned, it is 27,001, 27,002, 27,003. Uh, and uh, 27,005. Uh, so these are all the standards which is um, very very important for implementing uh, for implementing and uh, practicing. Okay. So um, we'll go through the standard one by one. If you see the history of uh, this uh, 27,001, uh, way back in '95, it was called. Uh, it was known as a BS double seven double nine dash one part one. Uh, it was a British standard. So in uh, ninety five it was there. Um, BS uh, earlier people were getting ISMS certification based on this uh, standard only. Uh, then uh, in uh, nineteen ninety nine BS double seven double nine part uh, two was uh, published. Actually this uh, part two. Uh, part one is uh, double zone double line. Uh, part one is uh, uh, giving the requirements. Like um, this uh, same uh, part one uh, only has become today 27,001, and BS double seven double line part two has become 27,002. These are uh, so this uh, ISO 27,001 and 27,002. It is directly taken from BS double seven double line part one and two. So this is the uh, journey so far. So there was uh, 95. Uh, in 95, double seven uh, double line introduced and published, and people went for uh, certification based on that. And in 1999, part two, part two is uh, not for certification. It is a code of practice, code of practice, which gives you adjectives and controls uh, to meet the requirements of double seven double nine one. So part one always like. Uh, Double seven double nine twenty seven thousand one also. It gives you the organization requirements. What are all the requirements the organization needs to fulfill if they need to go for ISMS certification, and um, how those um, requirements will be fulfilled? That is given in uh, twenty seven thousand two. So it is a code of practices which uh, gives you uh, domain. What are all the domains you have to concentrate if you want to go for uh, the certification and which gives you control objective that is we were mentioning about 33 control objective that is mentioned in 27,002 and um, 114 controls this 114 uh, controls it is again mentioned in the 27,002 so do not get to confuse with uh, so many standards so you have a standard which is 27,001 which gives you the requirement for ISMS if you want to go for ISMS what are all the requirements you need to fulfill? That is given in 27,001. And uh, how to meet those requirements? That is given in uh, 27,002. That is nothing but security controls, objectives and controls. So this uh, family, if you see 27,000, that's what I was telling, so many standards are there in uh, 27,000 family. So broadly, it is divided into vocabulary standard. That is, your 27,000 assets. It is a vocabulary standard. It is only mentioning about the list of family members, the list of standards available in 27,000, which is mentioning, and its vocabulary also, like what is the risk, what is attack, what is a supplier, what is contractor, what is a engineer, what is a security analyst. So about everybody, it is giving the um, vocabulary. 
as well as it is listing its family members standards number all the stand and briefly describing the purpose of each standard also purpose as well as the scope of each standard it is described in 27001 and the comes requirement standards in 27000 family one is vocabulary second is requirement standard requirement standard there are two standards one is obviously we were discussing about 27001 and another is 27006 i think 27006 uh, this 27006 is for people like us for, for organization like us uh, for audit parties if i am uh, i am i am to be empanel as a auditing agency i need to fulfill the requirements of 27001 do not get confused with 27006 and 1 27006 is for auditing organization 27001 is for organization which is going to implement the information security system okay then you have uh, uh, so many guidelines standard there are so many guidelines standard so 27002 i was mentioning repeatedly 27002 is a guideline standard 27003 is a guideline standard 4 5 and 7 these are all the guideline standard so 27002 as i told you already will give you the control objective and controls to fulfill the requirement of 27001 so 27003 27003 it gives you explanation of each requirements mentioned in 27001 just to remember 27007 gives you the requirement 27002 gives you controls and objectives so and domain also 27003 which gives you explanation about each requirements mentioned in 27001 clear so uh, these are all the three standards in general uh, the organization follows 27004 is uh, um, measurement it is talking about continuous monitoring and measurement how uh, the implemented or practiced controls are effective the measurement techniques is given in 27004 and 27005 it gives you the methods for risk assessment okay understood so uh, though you have uh, so many standards you are binding bible for uh, going for organization ism certification will be 27001 and uh, how to implement 27001 take the help of 27002 and um, if you are not clear with the requirements given in 27001 refer 27003 for explanation and um, um 27004 uh, okay you are not uh, how to effectively measure you are not you have uh, identified the controls you have made the manuals everything ready scope is defined and you have implemented after implementing how to measure the effectiveness of the implementation the details you refer in 27004 and um, uh, the control how do you identify from the assets risk you have a risk so um, what are all the important criteria you have to uh, what are the inf- important information and assets you need to consider when you are considering uh, when you are planning to go for isms and uh, what kind of risk assessment need to be done you refer to 27005 okay so these are all different uh, so this five uh, standards are uh, guideline standards and then you have 27010 27000 they, they, they are all uh, sector specific the organization specific one may be pertaining to finance one may be pertaining to automotive one may be pertaining to uh, personal information so these are all the different standards coming in the 27001 is it clear so 27000 family has got not only isms it has got some other uh, isms also but uh, the basis for certification is 27000 one only let it be any sector specific like you have 27010 uh, uh, it is for uh, guidelines for inter sector and inter organizational communication this is uh, this will be helping this particular specific this is called specific requirements these specific requirements will be helping you to um uh, map 27001 requirements the certification will be based on 27001 only but for this particular type of organization what some specific requirements need to be mapped to the 27001 that is what is the point okay so like you have so many standards 
we let us not waste time on it uh, for our uh, scope will be to, if you are thinking about isms uh, uh, certification or isms implementation think about uh, 27000 27001 27002 3 4 5 